Before we get started, if you have any questions about the upcoming IT movie, stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can get answers. When we did 19 Things You Want to See in The Shining at Halloween Horror Nights, some of you guys were also curious about what we could come up with for a Stephen King's IT themed maze, and since there are still unannounced attractions, we decided to come up with our own version. If they were to do a haunt based on the property, they would most definitely base it off of the upcoming IT movie coming out in September. But since that movie isn't out yet, we'll be basing our ideas mostly off of the 1990 miniseries starring Tim Curry and Stephen King's original novel, in addition to what we know about this new movie. We decided that the best haunted house that they can create around this franchise would have to be centered around the Lucky Seven's descent into Derry's sewers. We can imagine theme park guests lining up in the Barrens, with the creepy sewer entrance building looming in the distance. The design of the queue could take some inspiration from what BNM did with the entrance to Batman the Ride, where guests wait in line from the nice part of town to the slums and eventually into the sewer drain pipe before getting on the ride. They use dark eerie paths through pipes in combination with sound effects to give the impression of water dripping and huge industrial fans blowing in order to build tension before reaching the ride. They also use realistic looking signage to make the guests feel like they're entering somewhere that they aren't supposed to be. These elements could all be used in order to put people on edge during their approach to Derry's sewers. Once guests are in the sewer, they can use the hallucinations Pennywise creates for his victims to frighten guests and show off the iconic scenes from within the sewers. The deadlights, which are bright lights that travel through the sewer pipes and are known to be its true form, can be used as transitions to disorient patrons in between these hallucinations. This also gives the perfect opportunity for the bullies or Pennywise to frighten guests at the beginning or end of each transition. And using this format will allow the creators to include all of our favorite moments from the story that normally take place above ground down in the sewers. Just as we see at the end of the child arc where Pennywise uses different forms to try to trick the kids into letting their guard down. Here are a few rooms that we've come up with as an example. One room can feature sheets on a laundry line, much like the death of Lorianne in the miniseries. There could be fans going to make these laundry sheets flapper around in the wind, allowing glimpses of Pennywise to be seen behind some and not behind others. This room is also a perfect environment for jump scares with Pennywise. While walking through the room, guests could also see an occasional child singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. There can be sound effects of an oncoming storm paired with a slower rendition of the rhyme, providing an uneasy experience for guests. Another room could be a representation of the storm scene. Since we're already in a sewer setting, it makes sense that there would be metal grates around anyways, leading to different lines of the sewer. These would provide an opportunity for a lot of sudden jump scares, similar in nature to when Pennywise appears in the storm drain to attack Georgie. I think it would also be cool if the grates that Pennywise is going to be appearing in are loosely attached to give people the impression that it can bust right through them. Additionally, the sound of metal clanking around is oftentimes used for a startling effect in the scare zones that we've attended in previous years. Universal loves its fog machines and misters, so they can be used to create the illusion of rain without actually getting the attendees soaked, and they'll also help keep our visibility limited to what's directly in front of us, setting the stage for more scares. Not to mention that the deadlights will look really cool in the fog. Taking place at Derry Elementary, the next two rooms would be done in a pair. One being the shower scene, where the shower heads are moving on their own. Pennywise's voice can be used to echo around the room or sound like it's coming from the drain. This has to be done in a relatively open room where the pipes move and herd guests to a small exit. Fog used to imitate steam can be used as a transition to a hallway where the bullies are threatening Ben with a switchblade. Ben would be attempting to call for help from the patrons, only to be ignored like various other mazes such as Krampus and Freddy vs. Jason. The guests would then enter the boiler room and would encounter an iconic horror character, just as Richie does in the book. Originally, he sees the Wolfman, but if the maze is based off of the new movie, iconic 80s characters like Freddy, Jason, Chucky, and zombies would be more likely. For the next area, I imagine guests continuing down a long sewer pipe corridor. Nothing is popping out at them, creating an uneasy calm. As they go, ruined bookshelves appear on both sides, and we gradually transition into a library scene. Just as the sewer grates provided a spot for Pennywise to pop up and scare us before, the gaps in between books on the shelves could be used for a similar effect at the library. This would also be a good spot to incorporate balloons and some of that creepy circus music. Imagine walking through this library and you hear the faint sound of circus music from above. You look up to see a single red balloon floating there. Then you hear Pennywise's voice echo through the corridor. What's the matter? One balloon not enough? Try a bunch! 
Then a bunch of balloons on strings fall down in front of you just before Pennywise comes charging through the sea of balloons to come after you. As people are making their way from room to room, the one constant they'll always return to will be this central area, much how the exorcist maze in 2016 always returned to Reagan's room. Everything we see will be a build-up to that final confrontation with Pennywise. For the final showdown, they can recap the major set pieces using projections, as seen in the miniseries when the Losers Club goes down into the sewers as kids. This idea is actually pretty practical for a theme park, considering we've seen something similar in the new renovations on Pirates of the Caribbean. Finally, Pennywise can attack us from behind these mist walls and play on the suspense of not knowing which one he's going to approach from. The use of strobe lighting and sound effects will make this the most intense part of the walkthrough. I know a lot of you have questions for us about the new IT movie, so here's what we're going to do. Tweet your questions at CZ's World underscore horror and use the hashtag ITMovie and we'll make a video where we do our best to answer your questions. But you have to ask good questions. Yeah. If you ask us dumb questions like, This movie comes out on my birthday. We won't address them. Besides, for one, that's not even a question. So go follow us at CZ's World underscore horror. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel here, do that as well. I make horrors in addition to talking about them, and I've got new videos for you every week. So ring that death bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive. And we all float.